in this talk i'm going to prove a small and nifty thing which will actually turn out to help us understand groups but this thing i'm trying to prove i'm not proving it for a group i'm proving it for a more general structure i'm just taking any set s and any binary operation on s okay so it need not be associative and all that stuff okay need not be a group okay by the way, just we just have a set and a binary operation. It's called a magma. Know what a magma is? Magma. No. No. Well, that's just a name. You don't worry about that. Suppose now there is a left neutral element and a right neutral element. So there's like a left identity and a right identity. So the left neutral element has the property that that its product with anything is a uh, is is that thing. So E1 star A is A for all A and and uh, E2 is right neutral so that means A star E2 is A for all A. Okay? Mm -hmm. And now the goal is to prove that E1 has to equal E2. So tell me how would you do it? Mm, well well, e1 magma e2 equals to e2 equals to e2 magma. E1. Forget the word magma. <laughs> so how do you prove that e1 equals e2? Well, you you just like assume they don't equal to each other and then prove wrong. Well, you don't have to do it quite that way. Uh, or... I mean, that will just complicate matters. Okay. Just tell me what you do. You have to consider a particular product which pits these two elements against each other. So what type of product, what product should you consider? E1 by E2. Yes, yes, that's it. E1 star E2. Oh. Well, what can you say? It equals to E1 and it equals to E2. Well, why does it equal to, well, let's start with, since E1 is left neutral, it equals to E2. E2. On the other hand, what? E2 is right neutral, then the product equals to E1. So what do you get? E1 equals to E2. So we are done. Right. That's a nice and short proof. What's the idea behind the proof? Can you summarize the key idea? Well, the idea is you have the general identities and you choose you, you sort of choose a product which allows you to use both the identities. Okay? Now, I'm going to sort of deduce from this something further, which is that in a group, the identity element is unique. Or let me put it another way. Uh, so if S has a uh, two-sided neutral element. What do you think I mean by two-sided? Both left neutral and right neutral. Okay, so sort of forget about this part. So this is like the first part. Yeah. Now, I'm just assuming S is a set, you have a binary operation. Suppose S has a two-sided neutral element, then that is unique. What's the proof for that? If you have a two-sided neutral element, why does it have to be unique? One of them is left neutral, the other one is right neutral. Well, the same element is both left neutral and right neutral. Mm -hmm. Now, if there were another element which is also two-sided neutral, that would also be both left and right neutral. Yeah. And now you could do use this, use the left of one and the right of the other. Yeah. Right. So this this follows directly from this. What we proved here is a little strong. We said left. There is one left and one right that are equal. In particular, if there's something two-sided, then it has to be equal to anything else. So in particular, if you're working with a group, the identity element is unique. You see that? Because in the group, part of the definition of the group is that you have an element which serves the role of an identity element, which is just a two-sided neutral element. Right? And so, because you have such an element, 
what this tells us is that that it's unique. Okay. Great. So why is this important? Well, part of the the definition, there were two definitions of the, of group. One definition, we just specified the binary operation. And we didn't specify the identity element and inverse operation, right? Hmm? Mm -hmm. And in the other definition, we specified all three operations. Yeah. And what this is saying is that actually, if you specify the binary operation, the identity element, if it exists, has to be unique. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't really matter whether you specify it as part of the group structure or you just sort of leave it unspecified. Okay. If mm -hmm. it exists, it has to be a Okay. 